Hello everybody and welcome back to Promise Gaming and more Plague Inc. Evolved custom scenarios. Although I would prefer to do some official scenarios today. I have seen some comments reminding me that hey, there's some new things that came out. Mad cow disease and stuff like that. Oh wait, no? Either I don't have the right version or I think they are still limited to iOS only. Is it going to stay that way? I sure hope not. In the meantime, let's go back to the custom scenario. So I saw a request not too long ago. Ly is it lycan? Lycan? Lyco? Lycanthropic evolution? I think that's how you spell it. Bam! I found it! Perfect! First try! By Yummy Avocado. Oh! You ever seen that little video of a little kid who gets like an avocado for Christmas? He's like, an avocado! Thanks! It was so freaking cute. My wife loves that. And anyway, there have been and still are many problems in nature. In the past, before humans existed, animals did not change physically or mentally over a short period of time. Instead, random mutations that appeared in birth that helped a species would stack up enough to create a better species. Yes, this is the basic evolutionary process here. Causing the previous ones to die out. So now that humans of here, changes that happened in millions of years are happening over hundreds of years due to human advances in technology. Instead of adapting to nature, humans... Make nature adapt to it. Humans have almost completely destroyed, destroyed, sorry, nature. Most large animals are extinct and the large human population is approaching that of a honeybee. Both over... Wolves! There we go. Mainly due to hunting villages with low economics. Humans are destroying nature and all because nature gave humans the gift of creativity. How dare they? What a fool. They needed it after all. They had to make some difficult... There's a little bit long. Something about the evolution of a wolf-like species. An anthropomorphic wolf-like species. That sounds good enough to me. Lots of custom traits and descriptions and so on. Uh, this is... Is this the one that was recommended that you need to do catalytic switch on this? Or maybe not. By the way, I'm just a morbid 13-year-old anime nerd. Well, there ain't nothing wrong with that. All right, let's give it a shot. Yummy avocado. See if you can surprise me here. Uh, so, yeah, do we go for the catalytic switch to get the DNA? I think this might have been one where in the comment they suggested that. Either that or I'm mixing up my Plague Inc. requests. Even so. Darwinist, Aquacide Extremophile, and Dopamine Inhibitor all seem fine. Looks like we're going to be creating werewolves, uh, also known as zombies. So that'll be fine. Normal difficulty. Gen Spec Lycan PO. I'm just going to remove the Gen Spec because I don't really see that as something I want to say all the time. So we'll just call it Lycan Po. Lycan Po it is. Nature finds a way. Nature always has a way of doing things, even with the destruction of the Earth. Genocide is not the answer. Whenever a species dies, it is to give way for something new, like a beautiful forest fire, purging the wild overgrowth in the forests in order to make way for a new crop. Something that could completely change the world. Humans are about to witness this change right before their eyes in themselves. After you completely wipe their brain and change their body, you decide the fate of humanity. Will you turn them into pure, pure animalistic killers, intelligent creatures that are just as smart as humans, pure animalistic killers, did you already say that, or something in the middle? Well, it sounds like you really want me to go for the pure animalistic killers, since you said that twice. Just guessing, Lycanpo begins in Saudi Arabia. All right, what do we got? Four transmissions. We have the zoonotic shift, we have blood, and we have saliva. That all seems pretty normal. Symptoms. Here's some new stuff. Physical mutation. The virus gets into the DNA of infected and at attaches its own strand of DNA to it, causing a genetic mix that physically changes the host at very rapid paces. Or rates, sorry. Zero DNA, doesn't seem to do much, but both are pretty good. Mental manipulation. The virus hijacks the brain and pituitary gland, allowing it to manipulate thoughts, feelings, and habits through neurons and hormones. It is a sentient virus that can manipulate your thoughts. Ooh. And for abilities, we have the standard drug, heat, and cold. I'm guessing all the zombie ones will appear once we have unlocked that. So what do we start with? Physical mutation or mental manipulation? Hmm... Well, I feel like the mental stuff should be a little bit less obvious, but I don't know. They don't seem to do much yet. Maybe we focus primarily on getting some transmissions, just so we can spread out of Saudi Arabia. Now, on normal difficulty in particular, I don't see really any problem with going for the zombies as quickly as possible. Now, even on Mega Brutal, going for your zombies like as fast as you possibly can goes a long way to winning, so... Hey, cheap clean power got discovered! No way! Of course, it denied reports of air, uh, oil barrels nearby, but oh well. Holy crap, the mutation is way too high. We already got two more. Thought association. The mind relates chemicals like dopamine to thoughts of animalistic behavior in nature and cytosol when they think of technology or industrial areas and cities. So basically, we have the good feels when we think of animals and primal behavior and the bad feels when we think of humanity. Okay. 
Primal impulses. The virus causes brain-altering hormones to be created in slightly larger quantities, messing with reason and sometimes causing infected to make unintelligent actions. All right. Then we have eye enhancement. The infected's eyes turn bright yellow and their pupils become like slits. Human eyesight is three times as affected as a normal eye, but eye change is noticeable. A little bit of severity as a result. I mean, I'd rather go for the primal impulses, but... Mostly, I'm kind of thinking that going for Darwinist here, like I usually would for a Necroa virus, might have been a horrible, horrible mistake. So let's try to keep up as much as we can with the transmissions and ignore the symptoms if we can. Don't know how well that's going to work. Well, there goes the Primal Impulses. I may have to very well start this over and get rid of the uh, Darwinism. Just guessing, but we'll see. Let's get some water. Okay. Uh, gastrointestinal expansion. That's all pretty normal. Water 2, very effective. Zoonotic. Increases future research speed, but I think we get some mutation chance as well. I think I'd rather go for the water since that's particularly impactful. Instinctually driven. Symptom has mutated. Unnaturally large amounts of mind-altering hormones are released into the brain, causing infected to commonly act by instinct and often take very strange actions. You know, that's a weird thing about instinct, though. Usually there's some sense to it. Okay, you may not necessarily have the ability to explain it, but they're sensible when you really think through their biological implications. Apparently not in this case, though. Everything's very suspicious and unexplained. Gastrointestinal expansion. Sure, why not? All right. Eye enhancement has mutated for free. That unlocks muscular growth. The infected's myostatin, or my myostatin, I don't remember how you pronounce that, levels go down and testosterone levels increase causing infected to become increasingly muscular, but not unhumanly. Most don't mind the change, and why would they? What comes to mind is the uh, first Spider-Man movie with uh, Tobey Maguire. Gets bit by the spider, wakes up the next morning, is all muscular, and rather than say, oh my god, I need to see a doctor, he's like, you know what, this is good. I'm alright with this, though. I mean, I wouldn't blame him, I probably would be too, but even so. It's just sort of like most people would think, this is, this is probably not right. Probably, probably you should do something about this, but no. No, not for them. Let's go for some air so we're able to get around a little bit better in Saudi Arabia. Take advantage of their superior airport system. Bew, 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 bew. Good. Do we want to go for air two? Yeah, why not? Let's go for air two. Then we probably should focus a bit on the zoonotic shift and we'll accept the fact that we're going to get some mutation. Icolation. What is that? Infected begin to feel different out of place around uninfected humans and tend to avoid them as much as possible. Decreases severity, but harder to cure. Okay. I mean, harder to cure and decreasing severity is not the worst thing in the world. That said, if we're going to have zombies, eh, severity will become kind of important. Your genital expansion sounds good. That's really infected. Let's grab that. All right. Scientists are concerned about Lycanpo. Can't say that I blame them too much. It is the year 2018, so... Okay, so we're not playing far in the future. We've already just played a few months. So do we want to continue working down the symptoms and try to unlock... Um... Try to unlock the zombies as quick as possible? Maybe. I'll go ahead and grab those uh, resistances just in case, but... Yeah, we probably should go ahead and start working toward the zombies and start focusing on symptoms. But wait a minute, what is this? Anti-cure groups. The infected begin to form groups that will deliberately attack cure research labs. Significantly slowing cure research. Violent attacks are sever and sometimes lethal. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm going to go for nature dwellers. Feeling out of place but with humans, many infected will leave their man-made dwellings and technology behind and live in the wild with nothing but natural resources. It's organic. Carnivore. Hormonal dietary changes cause infected to lose enzymes that break down vegetation, allowing only the consumption of raw meat. The infected's taste buds also accommodate. How very convenient of them. And then self-species confusion. Infected often have episodes where they forget they're human, causing them to come completely acting wolf, like for a period of time, ranging from minutes to days. Well, Saudi Arabia doesn't like that and immediately shut down their airports. Probably a prudent decision there. Um, okay, I assume we're getting zombies at some point, though, right? Let's grab that. That leads to aggression. Due to increased levels of cortisol, infected will often see people as a threat. Infected will often uh, uh, physically lash out when approached, sometimes leading to death. Tiny bit of lethality, not sure how much I care about that. Let's go for a bit more cold resistance since we are having some trouble. Uh, I may want to go for anti-cure groups. Well, maybe not though. I was going to look for a drug resistance level 2, but I don't see it anywhere. Alright, so not a shift it is. Let's unlock some new beasts. We have the insects, the dogs, the bats, the rodents, and the birds. Probably pigeons. <laughs> That's what we're using. Absolutely. All right. Where are we right now in the world? We are missing a couple of islands and stuff like that. But if we do get zombies, which I'm still assuming is going to happen, we should be able to travel to those. 
Really, I want to keep focusing down the symptoms to unlock them. Let's go for aggression that leads to cannibalism. Infected gain a taste for human flesh and will often purposely kill humans just to get a taste for it. Infected can't resist the taste for flesh and kill for it. So a little bit more lethality. All right. First death is in Southeast Asia. Let's go for the cannibalism that leads to acceptance. The infected accept the fact that they are no longer human and embrace it. They feel blessed with their lycanthropic traits and act animalistically without shame. Okay, but where are where are my 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 zombies? That's what I'm looking for. Um, so far, I see a lot of stuff that's hidden back here. Maybe I need to go for the anti cure groups. Something unique that's gonna unlock them. That's what I need to find. No, not there. Hmm. Dogs would make sense, but I don't know. Like, where, where's my zombies? I'm really expecting to find some zombies down here, but they're already working on the cure. Far faster than I can handle it. What is going on? Where's my zombies? Hmm. What about this? Anti-cure research, significantly harder to cure and less noticeable. I guess we have to pick that up to buy myself some time, but... For real, though, I mean, Iceland's trying to cure the werewolf thing. That's great. But where are my zombies? Drug resistance level 2 is tempting, but I think I'll pass. We did get claws. Okay. Fur. Mm, noticeable, but harmless. So I see a lot of stuff turning them into werewolves here, I guess. Maybe this does lead to it, eventually? Hmm. Could go for some more mutation chance. Um, let's see. Bats would certainly do it. Rodents would do it. Birds, insects. Uh... I guess we'll go for some birds, but I don't know. I don't know. If we can't find a way to get the zombies, I think we just lose and have to start over, which is very unfortunate because I don't want to do that. But maybe we have no choice. Let's go down fur. Clawed feet? Hmm. Why make it a necroa virus if you can't? I still am holding out hope. I'm still holding out hope. Now, getting the catalytic switch is definitely getting me some more gas to work with. Otherwise, I think I would have died a while ago. Hey, high levels of bird migration. That's convenient. It's unfortunate we can't get to any more of the islands. The Caribbean, Greenland, and New Guinea remain safe. Let's go for acceptance, and everything else is still blocked off. Gosh dang it. All right. Um, we could go for the animalistic ears. Normal ears are replaced by fur-covered triangular ears on the top of their head and resemble that of a wolf. Okay. Over muscular protection. Again, this all sounds great if I were trying to create some zombies. But it's not. Snout. Well, what am I supposed to do? I don't know. I may be missing something obvious here, but it's not coming to me. Missing something in transmissions? No. Abilities? No. Huh. Huh, 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 huh. Well, we're going to lose because I'm not going to be able to infect anyone new if I don't get the zombies that are able to travel to different islands. That's one of the reasons I did things the way I did, because I assumed we'd be able to. Let's go for Snout that unlocks Skeletal Growth. Infected skeletal system grows to match their strength, causing infected to, to usually be 7 to 8 feet tall and have a hunched posture. The infected are even stronger now. Again, sounds like combat advantage for zombies, if only they were there. Canada bombed their infected. How dare you? Lycanthropic body. All fully human traits are lost and replaced with a larger and stronger human resembling an anthropomorphic wolf. Much more physically advanced than both species. Is that the zombies I'm looking for? I don't know. Maybe we need to get a bit more mutation chance. Maybe the Darwinist actually does work out well for me. Well, keep waiting, Canada. Just don't get fully infected. Buy me some time. I need some mutations. That's it. That's all I can do is wait for mutations and pray that they're zombies. Werewolves. Sorry. Lycanthropes. Uh, 29 points. Uh, all right. Grab... That leads to lycanthropic minds. While still intelligent, infected lose all trace of human behavior and act on their animalistic mind. To them, humans are nothing but a target prey to eat. Okay. I mean, thank God we had that uh, particular ability that reduced the cure progress so much. Because otherwise, I think we would have died. An absolutely catalytic switch is necessary here. There they are! Okay! I was right! It is here. Infected to become fully lycanthropic in body and in mind. Their DNA is a mix of wolves and humans. What side of themselves are they going to focus on? <laughs> I don't know. The patterns have been extraordinary so far. Um, Canada, please don't get fully infected. I, I need to get this I need to get this last symptom before we run out of gas and can't infect anybody else and it ends the scenario automatically. Uh, let's go ahead and grab this lycanthropes. There we go. We have the animalistic focus. Completely lose their mind to the wolf DNA, cause them to be nothing more than animals with quadriplegic stance. Their only purpose is to survive. The lycanthropic focus. 
I almost said Lycanthropic Forcus. Rather than completely turning into their human or wolf sides, they use both to their advantage. They use their intelligence with instinct and skill with strength. That sounds pretty good. And then there's the intellectual focus. Infected Lycanthropes become more intelligent, making intellect a maximum priority. And considering humans as a lowly species. Too bad they can't talk. I'll probably go for the Lycanthropic for, uh, Focus if I can. I almost said it again. And we have zombies popping up in every place except for three nations, three islands. Good. So does that unlock the ability to have hordes? It does not appear to. Well, that's a problem. I was expecting to have the hordes. Um, well, a lot of nations are just propping over dead now. That Yes, that's good. Um, lots of extra DNA from me. No hordes. Really, though? No no, no hordes. Wh why? A tail? Sure. Multi-purpose. I mean, it sounds great, but... Um... Wow, that actually this is a lot to click through. Hmm. Okay, so we got our zombies, but if I'm not able to get the hordes, then uh, we may be in trouble. We'll go for multi-purpose. Social. Living in packs? Maybe that'll do it. Hang on. Nope. Hmm. Tribes and packs. They hunt, work, build, and help each other survive. Combat. Hey! Yes, we have them! We have the hordes! For the horde! Here we go. Go from Iceland to Greenland, go from Florida to Cuba, and go from Australia to New Guinea. Okay, the zombies have destroyed Mexico, but now we have a few million zombies popping up in all these places, which means we should be able to win in just a matter of moments. We'll go for combat, increase their lethality, then we have strength and melee. Basically, they're just kind of forming a lycanthropic civilization and working cooperatively. It's almost as if the social contract remains intact even if you have animalistic species like werewolves. Beautiful. Lycan Poe, I know by the way it's P-O, I'm, I'm P-0, like I'm fully aware, has destroyed humanity. Mindless zombies slash werewolves infected with Lycan Poe have hunted down and consumed the last of the human survivors. Skadoosh? Skadoosh! Alright, we have succeeded. 710 days. It's a little bit long. But otherwise, okay. So, you definitely need to have the mutation chance. I'm really glad I ended up going with Darwinist because I don't think there's any way we would have been able to get through all of those symptoms if we had not. Got a little bit worried there that we weren't going to be able to get everywhere I needed to, but thankfully, the author did still include all those options. The gating mechanism was just a little different. Had to delay. It's okay, though. We got our packs. We got our zombies. We took over the world. Not so bad. It's actually a pretty decent scenario, in my personal opinion. Lots of good custom descriptions and stuff, a bit of misspellings and such here and there, but otherwise, eh, not the end of the world. Um, if anything, I would just say it's a little on the slower side, and maybe, maybe you could use a little bit of rebalancing. Make the cure a little bit faster and more aggressive, but also make the symptoms a little bit cheaper so you can work down that route faster. I don't know. It's kind of up to the author at that point, depending on how uh, fast they want their scenario to be. Generally speaking, though, when you're going up to like 710 days, uh, it starts to drag a little bit. Personal opinion, though. But yeah, I actually would recommend that. Very well done. Thank you for sending it my way. I do appreciate that. Thank you all very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If so, then be sure to hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time.